Hello everyone. I think we are getting ready here. Let's see if this is working. I see people are jumping on. So welcome, welcome. Here we go. Oh, I think I just got notification. Let's see if that's there. Just want to make sure it's at the right place. Why do dogs lick their paws or eat grass? Why do dogs... <laughs> Why do dogs get hit? Here we go. I think we are. Perfect. We are on. Right place, right time. So welcome everyone to uh, Create on the Fly. Tonight's going to be four cards. That's what I'm planning. I got my sketch here. See? And um, I was doing another video this week and that came to mind. And it's going to be using the rustic, um, what it's called? Rustic something. Rustic Arvis, I think, the paper. It's in the mini catalog, and it's fall. It's called Rustic Arvis. I was correct. So the paper, it's on page, well, the design of paper on 82, but they showcase that suite on page 30, no, 49, 4949. Four, so we're going to get started. And like I said, I got something in mind. We're going to see how that turn out. Um, I already changed my mind since what I was planning to do just before going live. So let me flip you down and let's get started, okay? Et voila. Okay, perfect. And so we are, I'm going to use part of this, the bundle here. Very little though, but it's the paper. And what I'm concentrate on, it's with the paper. The paper is so pretty that we don't have to do much to it. That's the thing, you know. A lot of the time with the designer series paper, we think, you know, we're afraid to cut it, number one. Number two, it's, um, uh, we're afraid to cut it. And then we think we have to add more and more stuff. Really, when you lend up with pretty paper like stamping up design paper we don't have to do much before i get started i want i put that because it seems sometimes i forget to announce the winner this was last week so if you missed last week after we're done you can watch the replay they recorded it was the film strip with happiness about so the winner of this one it's karen arness h a r n e s s Please go at frenchystamps.com and right at the top, you got contact me and send me your mailing address and I'm going to send that to you. And that, that was the same style, but I did a masculine. Um, this was with the stamp set uh, Wildlife uh, Wonder. And this one go to Carol Grove. So Carol and Karen, send me your mailing address and this is going to come in the mail to you. Last week I said, I hope I'm going to remember to share the other one I had done. It's, I had done one pr prior to that because I wanted to test the strip. So it was not a true create on the fly, but it was still because that one, the stamp was not even together. See, that's the same set, biggest wish, but I had used the cursive and it's colored with blends. Okay. If you missed that, you can watch the replay. Now, I didn't have a full sheet of this one, but that's what I want to do. So I was planning to do 12 by 5 and a quarter, but we're going to make it that even easier. So even if I'm using the Rustic RBS, you can use that with any, did I say any designer series paper? We're going to cut that at 6, okay? So let's remove that. So really what I got here, it's exactly half a sheet of 12 by 12. So you can do that with any of the designer series paper. We're going to have four different layout. So we get six by 12. Now I want five and a quarter. Some of it you get pattern. So it depends which side, but we're going to cut it one way and you're going to be able to re reverse it. Okay. Here we go. 
and we're going to cut that at five and a quarter five and a quarter we're going to cut this this strip here we're going to keep that to decorate the inside or maybe we're going to use it for something else who knows it's created on the fly now we're going to flip this we're going to cut this at three inch okay three so it's five and a quarter by three did i went five and a quarter or i went yeah five and a quarter by three okay let me help you out here a bit so we cut it's 12 by six and then we cut the 12 by five and a quarter you are left with a strip of 12 by three quarter now from here at five and a quarter at uh, we get five and a quarter on the side there oops five and a quarter we went at three the next one it is at four so we're going to go at four so right now we get a piece of four we get a piece of three and we're going to go a piece at two and a piece at one and three quarter and we are left with one and a quarter okay so we're going to mark that down so right now we get five and a quarter by two and it was five and a quarter by one and oops three quarter and then you are left with this is one and a quarter five and a quarter by one and a quarter you can take a snapshot of that if you want it's not written good so i'm going to write it in the description of the video when we're done okay so really you get a strip of 12 by five and a quarter you're going to cut it it's at three inch four inch two one and three quarter you're left with one and a quarter these two going to be a card this is going to be a card this is going to be a card and this is going to be a card so and i think our strip is going to become a card too i think so see boom so we're going to start with the first one that i got here it's three inch we're going to go ahead and um oops. we're going to use cherry cobbler crush curry and pumpkin pie okay so we get crush pumpkin pie cherry cobbler boom so this paper if you see it get the print you get like some acorn you get the oak tree leaves in this so we're going to mod podge that i'm going to start with the dark color that's going to be my cherry cobbler and then i'm going to go with the next darker it is going to be pumpkin pie and i could uh, sponge the whole thing but i thought oh let me maybe i want to keep some not sponge the color so and i like to finish with the lightest color usually we go the lightest to the darkest on some stuff but this is the other way around we start with the, the darkest go to the lightest and then you can go on top of it see and that yellow really make it look like it's just coming right i mean it looked like neon light see that okay now we're going to leave that there i i got i won't close the ink pad because it's kind of quick parts now this is going to be cutting on the diagonal so what we're going to do it's um it's no matter which diagonal you're going to cut so you decide well it have to be in this panel and in this panel okay not at the top or the bottom so you want the diagonal to cut on the short panel the short 
okay, the short end. So I'm just going to flip this this way, and so you, I'm going to put that three-quarter there, and the bottom one's going to be at two, if you want to do exactly what I'm doing. But it's no right and wrong for this, okay? Absolutely not. And then you're going to cut this. Boom. Now, I have to decide which color I'm going to do with that. And let's go, my base going to be um, Cherry Cobbler. We're going to cut that at five and a quarter. And then I need black that I'm going to cut at um, five and three eighths. And four and one eight. Okay. Now I'm going to need a piece of white because I want to stamp on it. So this is, I got, I cut a bunch of them always in advance for me because it's the insert for a card usually or the top. It is five and a quarter by four. So this is going to be here. And this is going to be there. But first I want, I think I want the, it's going to be, you know what? I think I want, uh, it's nothing wrong with switching my mind, guys. That's why it's called Create on the Fly. I'm going with Crush Curry. Crush Curry it is. And I'm going to, Cut three half inch. Okay, let's do. I'm gonna do a um, half inch, and I'm gonna do another one half inch. Really, about six inch of this would be good. I just cut on the long way. Five and a half. It's almost not enough because we're gonna put that sideways. So what we're gonna do? It's take. Okay, on the diagonal side, not the straight side, on the diagonal side, and you're going to put that right here. Just leave a little gap there. Here we go. Voila. Now we're going to do the other one. Again, you want to do that on the diagonal, not on this, the straight side of it, okay? And this. Okay. Yes, it is too long. And you're going to ask me why five and a half, it's not long enough. It's, so this is five and a half. See? It's too hard. It well, five and a half would work maybe. I find it six inch a lot easier. Five and a half, I see would work. Okay, now I'm going on the top. Usually I said always in the back so you can follow, but this one it's the top because really your layer it's in the back. That's why. You're gonna cut that diagonal and here, right here, diagonal. Boom. And then we're gonna do the same thing with the other one. Oops, I'm so used to flip that in the back. Go right here. And then on the side. Hello, everyone. If you're right late, remember when it's done, it's recorded. You can watch what you miss. Okay, now we're going to go ahead. And you know what? I better use. It's preferable to use Tombow liquid glue for this just because you're you don't have no wiggle room, okay? So you, if you're not just right at the first time, then you can go ahead and move it like what I was doing right now. Well, if you use tape after you lay it down, you don't have the wiggle and wiggle. So with the liquid glue, you can wiggle. And right here. See where I'm going with this? It's coming along pretty, pretty slick, right? 
I could add just a strip of white too, but I find it easier to pull a full strip there. Now we're going to use the stamp set that coordinate with that on page, was it 41, 49? 49. So I'm going to use the hello if it fit. I don't even know if it's fit. So, and it does fit. That's a bonus. And I know I brought up right here on the other desk. And I'm going to stamp that with black. So if you would want to do a, a bunch of that, if you do a, a strip of a three inch, and then you cut that five and a quarter, five and a quarter, you would get six in a 12 by 12, and you would still have some uh, little extra element. Et voila. Pretty, pretty. And you know what? I could even cut one of those pumpkin that would be a uh, cute in this. You know what? I think I get one cut. Let me see. I see something here. You know what? I think this is going to look right there. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and cut that out. So let me, we're going to go ahead, and this is just color with blends. And now I want to have some linen thread. Though. So, and this style card, though, you don't have to do a lot of element. I mean, I could have put really nothing. I think it, it would be good. Okay, let me get linen thread. See, I move my... Uh, Oh, I'm not using linen thread, even something easier. See, that's why I'm not a fan sometimes of using my dye. I move it because I was looking at the common when I went to cut, and I went way off here, so I get too much white. So that's okay. I don't mind fussy cut, right? Here we go. For me, that looked better. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, right now I am using uh, what it's called this. This is called Nature Finish Ribbon. I just, it's a very nice linen. I'm going to do just a knot. I, a lot of my uh, thing I keep, I do some in advance. Like I was looking at which set was it? This one, I think. Yeah, see? So a lot of time when I'm at it, I go ahead and do more instead of, and the pumpkin, I had a lot done. This is my last one because it's pumpkin season for me. So I, I kind of like that to have some in advance. Now we're going we're gonna to do kind of what I call a bow tie here, like this. And, oh, we want the short in the same direction. Okay, so that's what I call a quick bow tie. And I think this is going to look good right here for fall. So let's finish assembling this. I didn't take to put that many element on it. But that's okay. And remember the black was five and three eight by four and one eight. So it's just a little, little tiny border. And I get something I don't like. See, I get just a smidge of white there. And it didn't show really. It's like a smidge, like not even like air. <laughs> but I didn't like to have the white there. Et voila. Now I said we're gonna go, first I was going cherry cobbler and then we switched for, with crushed curry. Yeah, I think it's good uh, to pre-cut and all that in advance just because 
a lot of time you need a quick card well boom you're ready to go right or you're sometimes you're in the mood of coloring and so on oh this turned out very lovely okay i am not putting dimensional in the back of this and it's a madness in the back of this it's because this year i did a knot and it's kind of thick so i don't want to add more thickness to this so i'm gonna go ahead put that there and we are gonna do the inside at the end okay just because uh, i want to see what i'm going to be left with the designer series paper but what you think so far and that was easy a piece of designer series paper that it is three by five and a quarter now the next one it's the one that we measure at four so four by three and a quarter and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut this at two inch two this is gonna be the bottom this is gonna be the top so now the top we're gonna bring our ink pad again and we're going to go with the red we're going to go with pumpkin pie and we're going to go with crushed curry okay that crushed curry it's the bomb on this it really it look like neon light seriously it just make it really pop look at that is that cool okay we won't close the ink pad again just because uh, we get more to do okay now this one i think that okay let's try I want to try one no extra layers and i think this is going to be the one okay this i did that in advance before live i was waiting on the clock to be taken so i use um the greeting from this and then i use the banner in this okay so um if it's black i embossed with the black or embossed with the white and i think this one here and this is gonna go there i think that's what we're gonna do i get strip of black here you know what i think i still want a black layer i was trying to do some without but i think i want a black layer so the black layer it's four and maybe we're going to use this four and one eight by five and three eighths already there and let's mount that so i'm planning to do four cards with f of a 12 by um 12 by 6 so exactly half a sheet ding gum it i wanted the yellow yup well well okay i got bits and pieces here i think do i let's see if this okay stop talking and Pay attention when you put where you put the glue okay and that was by four okay it is okay let's try that again so oh see i had colored that one okay this go there oh not there oh my goodness okay right here now we're gonna get it and yes here okay you know the little strip of black i think that's just what we need we don't need more than that 
it's just a little border i mean very very tiny border the the, the frame but for me it adds so much i like it then i just use that bits of black we had there okay what it's nice about black and white designer series paper it's you can have any color you want that's the beauty of it i mean you just sponge color you can use blend you can use dauber you can use chalk uh, whatever you prefer and talking about chalk the pastel we used a couple weeks ago they're on sale and if you watch this video after the week of um, september 8 well that it's not it's september 8 to the 21st the, the pastel are on sale so make sure to check out the weekly update and that's september i'm talking about okay that or i'm gonna go with i'm gonna go with that and i need some blinks so let me gather some blinks and I want the champagne, I think. It's more fall. Okay, this one will be put up with dimensional. Yes, marker, you can color the marker absolutely when you get white showing. You sure can't especially you know with black now i'm gonna go ahead and okay you know what let me do this here oh come on go the other way here we go And I don't like the one on the banner, so I remove them. Here we go. Boom. So now we get a little bit of bling and very fallish, right? I think the champagne are very fallish. Oops. Voila. So we're going to do the inside, all of them at the end, okay? Because it depends on what I'm looking where I put the cards. So here we go. Now, number three. Number three, it is these, this and this. Again, we're going to sponge this. We're going to go ahead and okay, we got cherry cobbler. Whoops, stay there. We got pumpkin pie. This pumpkin pie, I'm just going to add a little bit. And then we're going to go, my favorite on this one, um, I just saw Ollie there. Ollie, your favorite color, crushed curry. If you ever find the urge to send a card to Ollie, send it in crushed curry. I am teasing her. It's her le less favorite color. But I think yellow start to grow on her, though. All these uh, favorite color, it's um, purple. Purple girl. And I know I get a lot of purple uh, people that love, love purple. Okay, we're going to jazz that up, change that up a little bit. I am doing the back in red instead of black. So we're going to cut that at four and a quarter. And, and um, not four and a quarter, back up the bus, four and one eight by five and three eighths. And I'm going to need a strip 
get some black i don't want black i want get some strip here let's see if this is long enough this is going to be long enough and it is half inch okay so that was the strip of the two inch and one and three quarter so we're going to go ahead and glue that on and where here it is so Frenchie look at the print before you add the glue and this is going to be here okay every card so far it's on the portrait side so now I'm going to flip this one we're going to create that on the landscape side and the reason why I want the landscape side in case if you happen to have a designer series paper that is um, get a pattern that go in a certain direction well see you can flip this easy okay and then I'm going to take this put this at the top like so and this one I want crush curry wow that's two bays I thought all my bays would have been cherry cobbler oh that's not wide enough let me gather because we use some strip on that is this five and a half better, better measure twice and cut once okay it is five and a half yeah you know what uh i said the tea thing i don't have the tea thing um i'm not planning to buy it soon If I buy it though, I'm going to make sure to use it. See, that's gorgeous with the red. Uh, crush curry and red, it's very, very pretty. Very much so. You know what? Um, I don't like this one just because I think it's missing something. But before I say no to it, let's try something i just thought of something here so let's go ahead and I think it's what I could have sponge. I did that on one card way. Hmm, what? Oh, when I was designing uh, with this set before going, uh, doing the walkthrough, I think. But I think the faux stitch is going to look better. much much better my friend see this what you think i think the stitch make the whole difference see okay that make me happy so um, we're gonna go ahead put that here and i got a ribbon that i use this week that I never use and oh my goodness do I love it it is the satin edge ribbon this ribbon get it's kind of a vanilla with the gold in it I think it's going to be pretty there I'm going to put this here yes I think that's going to be pretty so another thing that we can do it's um, have it in see you can sponge so let's say you don't want the the vanilla you can sponge your hands gonna get dirty a little bit because really you should let it dry before but I think that for 
It doesn't matter if I get inky finger, right? And I think I could even add some. Yeah, it made kind of a like a, a gold even more. Okay, let's see here. Let me. That was the paper. I still can use it though. Okay. This ribbon ties so nice. So nice. So, so nice. Okay. So, again, this ribbon, it is um, called the Satin Edge Ribbon. Okay, I let me um, get a piece, not a piece, but um, BB wipe here. Because now if I start doing the inside of the cards, we're going to have a fiasco here. I grab some envelope at the same time. Okay. Okay, now where was I? Okay, right here. We're going to put that with, we're going to put the banner with this. Okay. I see some people say that's their favorite. See, it should be something for everybody when we're done with this here. And this is going to be done with a glue dot. And really to make sure your, your ribbons stick, though, see, you should really wait till your, um, your ink is dry on the ribbon. That it's something I know I'm going to have to stick your it after uh, the life when it's more dry. I'm going to cut this this way and then this way. Et voilà. See that? Okay. Now, last but not least. And you know what? We will not sponge the next one. So share. Um, so you're going to see you don't have to sponge. Yes, the full bow, just the knot. Absolutely, yes. I'm going to put that in case we need that for the inside. Okay, the last one. We are left with one piece. It's five and a quarter by... Um, one and a quarter and then we get those little strip there i'm gonna use black and we're gonna do five i mean four and one eight by five and three eighths Put that right here, and we're going to cut this at five and a quarter, and then five and a quarter. See, I'm not using that for the inside. This is the only little bits and pieces we get on half sheets. So if you do a full sheet, you can do two of each. And I think that would be better on the red. Yes, yes, yes. Let's cut that paper. And we're going to cut that at four and one eight. And we're going to cut that at five and three eighths. And we're going to go the big one in the yellow. You know what? Back up the bus again. Switch my mind. We're going to cut that at four inch and we're going to cut that at five and a quarter. Don't need that little border there. 
So this, we're going to put this ear here and here. And this is going to get put there. But before, we're going to emboss this one. So let's go ahead and glue this. Best way to glue this, to match this here, you're going to do the, the top one. Uh, I'm going to say it's about one quarter from the top. And this one, one quarter from the bottom. So it doesn't matter if you do three quarter, go three quarter, oh, 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 and so on. Okay. It's about a quarter here. Don't worry, we're going to wipe that. Just a little bit of glue. And here we go. So now we got the top and the bottom. So then the centerpiece, we're going to come and put that in the center of the two. So it's easy when we get three pieces, right? Now we're going to put that here. I'll get some glue right here. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to wiggle that down a bit. Oops, just a bit. Okay. Now, let me see which, um, I think that would be nice. The leaves, I bet some of you are thinking the leaves. I don't think the leaves are going to be uh, just because it's already mini patterns. So I want more like just a distress. So when I want a distress really time-worn type 3D, it's the one that I go for. We're going to go ahead. And we're going to put this one on this way too. So we get two portrait and two landscape. And I want my pattern here. I'm on the emboss at the top. And let me roll this. Roll on. Okay. I'm just laughing here in the corner just because I didn't think to emboss tonight. I thought, oh, it's going to be so quick because I pre-done the uh, banners. And this was a five and a five and one eight. Oh, yes, I want that. Five and one eight by uh, five and three eight by four and one eight. See, little black. And then is are going to be yellow yellow oh. do i want yellow i think so on on the three color on that one okay so i'm gonna go ahead cut that at five and a quarter there 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 and we're gonna fold this and you know what? That little bits and piece there, we're going to use it. Yep. So every bits and piece is going to be used from this, okay? From the designer series paper. So what I'm going to do with it, it's I'm going to do a little uh, like banner there. So this is going to go, here we go. You bet, Kathy, you get that right. I'm using um, all his favorite color. And to be honest, I the more I I work yellow, I always kind of like yellow, but I. It, it become a lot of my favorite and yellow and blue go good together because I'm a big blue fan. So yeah, it's, and I think I'm on the black here. What else I got here? Okay. I like with stitch better or do I want with red? 
now I want with black and so you see now I got those one extra I just gonna put that in there and I'm gonna go ahead and oops it's this we're gonna go ahead and use a ribbon there And I'm going to switch that right here. One minute. I want to see where the ribbon. Am I using that whole ribbon with this? I think so. So, okay. Let's do something different here. Okay. And let's do three loops. One, two, and three. Do I have three? I get three and three. Okay. Now let me get those fancy tweezer we got. And where would you be, my friend? Huh. Did I use it? Not put oh no, it's here. Don't you hate it when sometimes you use something, you don't put it back at the right place? Hmm. Okay, now I don't know how this is going to work with this ribbon, but we're going to find out in a minute. Okay, I just did three loops around, so you don't have to call your grandkids or your kids or your husband or your partner or to hold the, the ribbon. You just use those nice tweezer, then you tie this up, remove the tweezer. Do a knot. Okay. Now tail in the bottom. I know I got red on piece of one, but that's okay. Now you're going to spread this. I want to make sure it's very tight though. Make sure, oops, not that. Mm, here we go. You want to make sure it's very tight. Then you're going to spread your bow. Get one here. It's too short. If that happens, you're going to pull, pull and tuck. Et voila. Okay, now it looks like a mess, but don't you worry. We're going to use Frenchy duct tape. Okay, we're going to go ahead and glue that. So squeeze all the tail at the bottom, okay? We're going to use a glue dot. One, two glue dots, really, because it's kind of a big bow. One and two. And I'm going to put, I don't know where that's going to go yet. I'm going to put that right here. See the tails? Now you're going to spread your, your, um, your loops and spread your loops. Okay. This one here, I really don't like it. So you know what we're going to do? That's when the duct tape come in order. That is my glue dots. So we're going to go ahead. You know what? I'm so used to work with my snip with this. Take your snip. This one here, it's too long. I'm just going to go in the back and crunch it. Put it smaller. The rest are pretty good, I think. So then just to make sure that they stay put, that my bow stay put because like I said it's kind of, and plus it keep it fluffy now this one want to go back under let's fix this here let me get, you know what I went too much on the side let me tuck that there here we go how about that? 
Is that cool? Okay, now we can trim that a little bit. Let me Okay, I don't think I need another one. Let me just this one don't trill me. Here we go. Okay, voila. Okay, so not much to do really. Let me. This one want to keep on going under there, so I'm gonna have to put a little blue dots. Do I have it? Right over here. Here we go. Much better. I get carried away sometimes with my glue dots and it, it's just that you can make it flow wherever you want, right? Et voila. Now, this is going to go lower. Here we go. Okay. Now, the trick is the inside. Well, the inside, we're going to have that very simple. I'm going to go ahead and, oops, this one's going to be very simple. I'm going to take this here. That was the bits and pieces we had. Cut in the center. Cut on the side. Cut on the side. And just a little bit of glue at the top. And we get a little banner right there. And that's going to go in. So, boom. That's it for this one. See how all flow together? So when you get bits and pieces of designer zero paper, you can use that like this. Now let me... Okay, these. We don't have no more designer sear paper because usually, you know, I would say, well, we're going to do a, just a strip. But because we all got the leave here, okay, in the print, it's all that. So we're going to do the print, but we're going to do it differently. Okay. I need we need three insert. One gonna go okay, okay, one and two this way. I need one more insert. Okay, one minute. Okay, two this way. Let me move this. One on the long way. And to this way. Now we're gonna ink this with crushed curry. Gonna take my blending brush. Stamp. Huff. Stamp. Huff and stamp. See? Okay, now I cannot go ahead and ink it right back in the crush curry because I know I still have some of the, uh, whatever it's called, the cherry cobbler. I'm gonna wash it, ink it. I think just two, it's, usually I don't like two, but I think in this case it's gonna look good. Wash. And one, two, and then three. And then I would do the same thing on the, so for the envelopes, going to go ahead, crush curry, tap, tap, tap a little bit of the, then I'm just going to go one, two. 
see, just wash a bit here. Tap, 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 tap. Here, here. Well, I need a little bit more. And voila. How about that? So another little trick on how to do those sleeve multiple color and very little effort, right? So let me sh now. Oh, okay. So this is the envelope. Envelope. Okay, we got all four envelopes, so it's ready for next week to send to the winner. So next week I will announce four winner, but first we have to finish putting this in. So this, so you can make more blinks or more decoration or element. The choice is yours. You don't have to, you know, stick with one thing. Get some glue there. And... Over here. So now, this is exactly half a sheet of, oh, I thought we had two on the long way. I wanted to do this one on the long way. See, the bow would have been nice there in the banner here. That would have been even nicer. Yeah, okay. I would have loved to do the card this way. That's okay. It's done that way. I thought I wanted two portrait and two landscape, but it's all glue. I would I was ready to remove it, but I forgot that bow uh, get a lot of um, surgery there. So here we go. So you see, I could have went that way. But that is it, my friends. So with one sheet of um you could do eight of them so you would have two of each okay so if that inspire you stay tuned in october like mm, mid-october i'm gonna have another video that it's all simple layout and that's how i came to this tonight because i was like oh i don't have any falls so i'm like well i'm gonna do one live tonight and I wanted to do kind of a one sheet wonder. Well, that's it. So you're gonna have the video. See, it's all simple layout, all of it, using designer syrup paper, like the flip, the strip, and that was leftovers. And again, leftovers, see diagonal again. So this is all part of one video. Yeah, it was a video on steroid, put it that way. So stay tuned. This it's coming up in mid-October. Um, I started working on my November now. You're going to say, what? We're in September. That's the way I roll. I don't like to work at the last minute. So And see, just one sheet here, one piece. So that's what I'm saying. Cut that paper. We get all that pretty paper, and we get new every year. So cut that paper. It is a lot of the time, you don't have to do much with the paper. You just have to really, it's funny. You take a full sheet of paper, you cut it and glue it back the way it was pretty much, right? But here, this was just flip. See how simple and just flip. So um, sometimes you can mix match to print and reverse it that way also. So I hope I inspire you to create with your designer series paper that you've been collecting. So that's about it for tonight, my friend. Till next time, happy stamping. Have a great evening.